Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. So in this episode, we are going to be discussing the order of surface continuities in Cartier V5. So usually we have four types. We have point continuity, we have tangent continuity, we have curvature continuity, and we also have a, th a fourth one, which is constant rate of change. So you're going to open up the GSD workbench and we're going to start by creating uh, two sketches. So you can select any plane. I'm going to select the YZ plane and sketch. And the first, I'm going to select spline. And the first curve, I'm just going to make it like so. It doesn't have to be specific. And then once again, I'm going to sketch again the YZ plane. And then I'm also going to make another one, another spline up here. Let's say like, like that. I don't know if I made it too, too long. Yeah, let's say something like that, exit. So we have two curves or two splines here which have different curvatures. And we're going to try and create a styling fillet. Maybe I can change this one. I'm not happy with it. Let me just select spline once again. And I'm just going to create it like that. Like that because we are creating the curvature right here and I don't want the continuity to be very similar. So maybe I can bring it down a little bit. I don't know. Okay, let's try with that one first. I think I'm going to reduce the curvature in this one. Because again, I don't want them to be very similar in curvature. It can go this way. It can go this way. I'm going to leave it at that point. So we can extrude some surfaces on the X plane. Say 100 millimeters. Same case with this one. Extrude. 100 millimeters so that's what we have and then i'm going to create four more of this so this is the y direction you can select translate and then just select the two surfaces extrude one and two Then the direction is the Y component and the distance is going to be 500. So that they are not very close together. Then repeat that two more, uh, twice. So uh, you're going to select the new surfaces here. Translate 1 and translate 2. The direction is Y. The distance remains. Then the last time. And then the distance is the same and the direction is the Y component. So we have four samples of similar profiles. So we are going to apply the four different types of continuities using a styling fillet. 
So you can go to operations, select styling fillet. That is because we have the choices for continuity here. You can, you can see we have G0, G1, G2, and G3. So usually G0 is point continuity. G1 is tangent continuity. G2 is curvature continuity. And then G3 is a constant rate of change. So for support, we're going to select each surface here. And then for the radius, you can insert any, but it doesn't have to be too small because we don't want, uh, we want you to cover these two places. So I'm using 50 millimeters. You can apply, select a point continuity. So that is point continuity. It doesn't respect any tangences or curvature continuation from each of these surfaces. And then you're going to select OK. Going to properties here. I'm going to choose this color for the geometrical set so that it is more visible. And then you can hide the two sketches. You can narrow down on this drop down menus. Let's go to the next one. And then once again, styling fillet, select the first one, the second one, and this time G1. The same radius, apply. So this one, as you can see, it's trying to continue with the same tangent, trying to respect both and then finding a common curvature right in the middle. But don't worry, we'll get back on that. Let's go ahead with the third one. Both surfaces, G2, apply. And then finally we have the two surfaces, G3, apply. Now to be able to visualize how the surface continuations is happening, because if you look with your naked eye, you might think they are very similar. We can use porcupine analysis. So you're going to select porcupine curvature analysis and apply them on all three. Start with the first one. Make sure the type is curvature. Then we're going to go to the second one. Third one. And the fourth one. And then we can uh, evaluate them independently to see what is happening. So suppose I can go to the front view. Now for the first one, you can see that we had curve one and curve two. We don't have any, <clears throat> the continuity that respects both of them. We just have a straight line connecting both of them. And that straight line forms a flat surface. So we don't have any continuation from here to here. We just connect them directly using uh, one surface, one flat surface. And that is what is called point continuity or G0 type of surface continuation. The second one, as you can see from the curve, we had curve one and curve two. And what is happening is a continuation of this tangent Tangency, I mean, and a continuation of this tangency is first applied and then right in the middle, we are trying to join them together. So that's why we are getting this sort of curvature here because this is tangent continuation. And then for the third one, we have curvature continuation. And as you can see, we are trying to uh, mimic the both curvatures and it doesn't respect the tangencies it just continues the curve it's very similar to this one the last one the only difference is if you look at this curve and this curve this one is more symmetrical and that is because 
in the last one we are applying a constant rate of change you see how this curve goes up and down and then if you split it in the middle we are going to have symmetrical curves because we are applying constant rate of change when connecting both of them so this is very important to understand when you're creating a fillet when you're creating uh, curves that connects two surfaces because it depends on what the project requires most of the time you'll find we apply uh, tangent continuation because that way um, the 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 curvature is more smoothened out to blend in with both of the curves as you can see you can see there is an extension of this tangency and an extension of this tangency but there are other scenarios where you might want it to be a constant rate of change. So what to keep in mind is that uh, if you want really, really smooth surfaces and you want it to blend with both of this, you might have some tangent discontinuations where this line and this line is. And the same applies for the curvature continuation as well as point continuation. And those are the four types of surface continuation that we have in Katia V5. So I hope this video was very helpful. And if you have any questions, you might ask and I'll be sure to answer them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe so you get notification. Check out our other projects, especially the we have large projects where we do series of pattern assembly design as well as surface design, as well as uh, imagine and shape. That is the uh, imagine and shape design or sculpting. So you can check out those projects and I hope and I wish you happy learning.